All right. So yeah, she's a three-toed. Uh, very flat shell, though sometimes it's hard to tell with three toads, because sometimes the males have flat shells. This is a very small tail that is turning the wrong way because she was kept too dry while she was growing. This puts her at a much greater risk of prolapse because the nerves are now damaged and the equipment's not pointing the right way. A uh, little, yeah, she's kind of underweight. Nails are overgrown from being on the wrong substrate. This is all old dried skin that never shed. And now that she's in the proper humidity, this will eventually shed and slough off. And the scales are too are too rounded and there's too much skin between the scales because she was kept too dry. The beak is overgrown, but by far not the worst one we've ever seen. That's not too, too bad. And she has this skin cap, that, as I call it, where, again, she was kept too dry and the skin didn't shed as it should have. And eventually this will also fall off once she's in proper humidity. And the shell is... Well, her body doesn't fit the shell, again, because she was fed the wrong things and kept too dry. She was fed mostly cat food. Um, it's really translucent skin is another sign they were kept improperly, usually indoors improperly. Although you can do it properly indoors, a lot of people don't. I've never seen the unshed skin this bad on the legs before, though. That'll eventually all fall off, and she'll be fine. But she's always going to be special needs, and she's always going to be at high risk of prolapse. So someone has to have a really good vet if they adopt her. So, but with proper care, she should have a good long life still. Okay.